Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here, and for today's video, I just want to go over the event with you guys, so we'll just get started. Step number one of 11, so we go over here to the event area and talk to Sir Hubesley. So pretty easy stuff so far. Next, we have to buy some lucky stars, but luckily in our claims, we do get one, so we just have to buy two, and it's just for... 777 uh, almost when you see it but um i guess if you know you know that meme anyway now we gotta throw it so now we just drag it into our hot bar there and i guess that's all we do there just throw it easy enough all right so it looks like for step number four we have to defeat a luck beast so it looks like we have to travel to either desert neon, neon city luminopolis whatever it says there on the right there i'm at the desert and let's see what, what happens if i just do this uh, all right easy enough so looks like they're in any dungeon pretty sure at least i just found one there and now we have to collect some coins it looks like so i'm guessing the more dungeons you do the more coins you get so i'll just fight this dungeon here uh, i'm sh not quite sure why i'm not one-shotting but i mean it's is what it is uh, and there we go yeah we get a coin so i'll be back when i complete these dungeons so just farm your dungeons and we'll finish up step five also i'm not sure if this is going to be for a later part of the quest but there is a pot of gold here so i just completed a dungeon so if you do want to stay within the dungeons you can try to find one of these and they have some pretty cool stuff so if you can collect a bunch of these coins you can get some cores dragon coins bound brilliants any of this stuff here and it looks like there's some mastery related stuff over here but it looks like there's a limit on how many of these you can actually get so not really like the best thing ever but it is an option if you really do need these things and there we go we completed step five i think that was step five yeah that was step five so now we have to defeat a flux beast all right so to find flux beast you basically just have to go to a three-star dungeon and just do the last one so i'm just gonna try to get lucky not really gonna go in the dungeon so just go in the dungeon find the last boss and you'll find it just like that so in this case he was down there just making it super easy with shadow hunter you guys basically just get the idea just do the dungeon for the three star and you'll finish that step okay so i was kind of right about step number seven so i'm gonna try to go back and find that three-star dungeon it looks like it's not too far away and I'll try to craft something to finish this step. As long as I don't get hit with lag, because this is ridiculous. But kind of to be expected with uh, new events and stuff like that. Everyone's going to be farming, so just try not to let the lag defeat you, I guess. All right, so I found the pot of luck. So basically just complete a dungeon. This was a three star. I don't know if you have to complete a three star. And this wasn't like the very end boss, I guess. So just keep doing dungeons and you'll eventually find this. And it doesn't really matter what I really craft, uh, for me at least personally, but I'll just craft this one, why not? And there we go, step number 7 is done. Alright, so for step number 8, we're getting close to finishing. We, for more claims, we have the Luck Beast Haunch. Alright, so step number 8 took me a little bit of time, but I'm in desert right now, and it looks like you have to find this guy over here. So I'm pretty sure this is not a mod, this is like a default thing. So just explore in one of these areas, Desert, Neon, or Luminopolis, uh, Jurassic. These things are kind of hard to find, but I'm sure you guys can find it. So we just press E to interact. And it looks like we need some washed tater tots. So I guess just make sure you have the resources before you come here and craft it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty fun. So I guess, let me see if I can go grab, actually let me grab the world ID. If you don't know how to do this, just do slash get world id and then it'll copy it to the clipboard i guess this is number uh negative 28 uh, and then after that you would just do slash join world and then whatever you just copy there so i'm gonna go craft the tater tots real quick and let me see how many i need i just need five so let me do that real quick all right so i just crafted it but it's not the vegetable sink Wa wash tater tots over here 10 superstition which you know cool i guess but uh, i'm gonna go back to the desert just gonna do the slash join world and then that right there so hopefully it takes us back to where we were. Uh, all right, perfect. So just make sure you're not gone for too long before you do that. So here we go, let's craft that. And there we go, finish that step. All right, so I have no idea what just happened. I just fought an enemy, and I'm pretty sure we used these stars to do something with these snakes here. Uh, yeah, looks like that's what you do. So, I don't know. I just fought an enemy, and then just spawned a bunch of snakes. So, I guess just do that. <laughs> that part really didn't make much sense. But anyway, for step 10 here, send Lux Snakes to Mini Pot of Gold. So, it looks like we go back to the hub for this one, and there's already an exclamation point here. So, we go here, and it looks like we just do the first one over here, send Lux Snakes. So, that's what we gotta do. So all five of those, and there we go. Step number 10 is done. All right, so it looks like we have the buff that it's talking about active for 50 minutes. So I'm going to try to find Sir O Lucky. I have no idea where he is exactly, but I'll try to figure it out and tell you guys. All right, so at the moment, I'm in U11, but I'm pretty sure you can do this anywhere. We're also in the desert frontier, 
And for the last step, uh, Unity Shrines are basically these uh, Gather 3 Trophy and things. So if I just zoom in, you can kind of see there's one here. We already did it. And then there's another one over there. I don't know if that one will count though, because that's in a different biome. But just be on the lookout for those. Pretty sure that's what we do. And just press E on it. And there we go. There's some mastery items in there. And it looks like we get a random title as well. So that's kind of cool if you're into that stuff. And yeah, it's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or if you find yourself coming back. And I will talk to you all later.